Leo's room is pretty messy. Um, he just had his Chinese play date and everything was thrown out of the boxes. Um, so we're now gonna clean up together. He's gonna help me put everything in back in the boxes. He likes doing that. It's also part of the Montessori philosophy to involve your child in the practical daily activities. Uh, hang out with us today. We're gonna do so much more. I'm gonna show you more of the Montessori stuff that we implement throughout the day. So let's get started. I really can't stress to you how important it is to involve your child in everything and anything you do at home, whether it's putting things away, dusting, vacuuming, emptying the dishwasher, or doing laundry, basically any practical life activities that will set up your child for success. If you don't let your child get engaged in everything you do at home, then I feel like it's very hard to instill those habits later. That's why there's so many reward charts and other things that reward the child for basically participating in daily life at home. But if you make it a habit now, it will just become a second nature and something that's enjoyable to the child. So that's why we do everything together. Yes, it's easy to get frustrated sometimes because something might take really forever to do because your toddler um, really needs time to polish a certain skill but then I assure you I guarantee you that the more you do it the faster he'll get at it as well he or she um, and honestly um, you won't have to worry about doing stuff around the house when they're sleeping or napping because you'll be able to do it together and also know that the toddler is also benefiting from doing the chores so it won't be a stress on you and the child will also benefit from that so it's a win-win situation. We've got the gist of the mess down, but now it's time to tackle his Montessori shelf. It's been pretty messy the past few days. I honestly haven't had time to organize it. It should only have maybe like four items on it at most, but it's pretty messy. So let's tackle that next. Yay! I do not display um, any Montessori activities um, in the cubes. Um, the cubes are typically for the things that we use on an everyday basis. If I have an activity for Leo, I'll just go ahead and set it up either on the floor or we'll do it on his Montessori table. Uh, the reason why I don't put the activity in the cubes is because I don't want Leo to constantly go to those and um, I want them to be sort of like a novelty um, thing. So the only things I keep in the cubes is our right brain materials for easy access because I do have different themes of the materials and Leah knows um, what materials are in there and he likes going and revisiting those materials in the cubes. Um, and then we do have a few other items such as math. Uh, materials and a few other things that I'm going to discuss um, in a second. Okay. 
As you can see, we were able to tackle this mess. His Montessori shelf looks so much better again. Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's show everybody what you have on the shelf. What? Pokażemy wszystkim. So, I um, typically have um, my right brain education materials here um, in these two cubicles. And Leo knows this is where he goes for his books. Which book you want to read? Którą książkę chcesz czytać? His favorite one probably is the Peppa uh, math book. And um, which one do you like? Pete the Cat? Okay. He also loves this Pete the Cat book. Oh, okay. Well, he wants to do cards now, so let's do cards. Okay, come on. <gasps> car, car. Each toy car looks different. Um, so this is why I have all of his cards in the cubicles as well, because he goes to those multiple times a day. Pushing! The boy is pushing the toy car. He just loves looking at these cards and pushing! And um... Kicking! Yeah! The kids are kicking their legs in water. And he's learned to um, read many, many words off of those cards. They're from Your Baby Can Learn. I will link them below. We use the Abacus Daily. Um, it facilitates learning math in such a fun and colorful way. I typically just come up to the Abacus when I see Leo is interested in it. And I will show him some of the beats like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Leo's sitting here and looking, and he absolutely loves playing with the abacus as well. Um, so I just try to keep the things that we honestly use throughout the day on the shelf, and I try not to have too much clutter on the shelf. Let's now move on to the kitchen, where we practice more life activities, such as emptying the dishwasher. You're going to see how Leo um, uses a little rack to dry up the dishes. Uh, there are times when he will grab everything from the dishwasher and we'll go ahead and empty that. And other times he'll just sit there and grab several items. I typically let him dictate how much he wants to get involved.
we have two types of chips. These are the unsalted tortilla chips. We're gonna put them here. Oh, here. Uh huh. They were too tight. They were too tight, Chicky. I think Leo just wants to eat them, honestly. Okay. And I think we don't need the other pack. I think this is gonna be enough. So Leo here um, did his connoisseur test. Is it good? Yay! Yum! Aha, uh -huh. very good. Uh-huh. We also have two types of cheese. So this is the shredded cheese and we also have some sliced cheese. <laughs> okay. Yum yum. Mmm. <laughs> oh, gotta rescue Leo here. Wanna try this? Klausio, a to chcesz trwać serka? Nie? Okay. Tomasz, posyp tutaj serkiem mamie. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. No? Good? Okay. Pass the test. Chicken? And this is the final product. We are completely adores these nachos. This is his favorite meal. Some of it will end up on the floor. That's why we give it a quick vacuum. And we're also gonna vacuum on his playroom at the same time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And please let me know in the comments below if you found these life activities useful and if you're planning on doing it with your child. I'll see you later.